This week begins a celebration of Emanuel Christian Seminary's 50th anniversary. That celebration will continue into the 150th anniversary celebration of Milligan College. The two celebrations will coincide with the official integration of Emanuel into Milligan College the summer of 2015. Following a long period of informal discussion, a conference of interested individuals from across North America met in Indianapolis, Indiana in 1956 to review the prospects and facilities existing among Christian churches and Churches of Christ for the education of an effective ministry. The conference appointed a committee to gather data, call further exploratory conferences, plan a program, secure a charter, and open a school. This committee engaged in active study and discussion until 1961. During that time that the committee was engaged in this study, others were advocating a similar move at Milligan College. This group caught its enthusiasm from Dr. Dean E. Walker, who had made known his hopes for such an institution when he assumed the office of president of the college in January 1950. In light of these studies and conclusions, the committee applied for a charter and received incorporation as a manual school of religion in the state of Tennessee in 1961. In 1965, an agreement was concluded with Milligan College for the use of classrooms, the library, language laboratory, offices, and other facilities. A plan to locate near Milligan was determined. Classes opened on September 15, 1965, with an initial enrollment of 35 students. The primary mission of the manual is to prepare men and women for effective ministry in worship, preaching, pastoral care, Christian education, evangelism, cross-cultural missions, institutional and military chaplaincy, and teaching in schools and colleges. The educational purpose of Emmanuel is to develop a mature love for God, to understand the Christian faith that is revealed in Scripture, to appreciate the Stone Campbell heritage, to recognize the dignity and worth of all men and women as God created them, to contextualize the Christian faith as it relates to contemporary culture, to refine one's theology of ministry, and to acquire skills in the various practices of ministry and mission. In Emmanuel's 50-year history, the school has been blessed with five presidents. All five have brought their own unique strengths to make Emmanuel what it is today. Dr. Dean E. Walker, the founding president, gave us an appreciation for the Stone Campbell movement. Dr. Fred P. Thompson led us to be a rigorous academic institution. Dr. Calvin Phillips attached us to the church. Dr. C. Robert Wetzel gave us a global perspective. And Dr. Michael L. Sweeney provided us a model of the cross-cultural mission field. He also led us to engage in a closer working relationship with Milligan College. Each president built on the foundation provided by their predecessor with an appreciation for what came before them in establishing Emmanuel as a seminary of good reputation. Students at Emmanuel have always been instructed by a faculty of competent and renowned scholars. Among those early faculty members were such notable teachers as Dr. Toyozo Nakarai, a recognized scholar of Old Testament, Dr. Dean E. Walker with his command of church history and his commitment to the Stone Campbell movement, and Dr. Buford H. Bryant whose photographic memory of the New Testament well-equipped ministerial students to handle the word of truth. Over the years, Emmanuel's faculty has consisted of scholars whose doctorates have come from such prestigious academic institutions as Princeton, Yale, Harvard, Tubingen, Edinburgh, Oxford, and Johns Hopkins, to name a few. Faculty like that knows what quality education looks like and has always sought to reproduce it at Emmanuel. But what has made Emmanuel faculty distinctive is not just their excellence in academics, but their commitment to the church and its ministry. It has always been Emmanuel's goal to teach students how to think, not just what to think. Dr. Robert Fife, in reflecting on the promise of Emmanuel, wrote, I see Emmanuel encouraging the whole church everywhere to seek renewal in the power of Christ's resurrection. 
In all our fellowships, let that power be recognized, cultivated, experienced, and shared. Dr. Fred Norris once said, we want our students to know the gospel and know it well, but also we want them to live the gospel and live it well. In 1981, Emmanuel became an accredited member of the Association of Theological Schools. Then in 1986, the seminary received accreditation from the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools. These associations granted Emmanuel the right to award master's degrees and then in 1997 to even award the Doctor of Ministry degree. In 2012, Emmanuel received approval to offer an online degree, the Master of Christian Ministries. Emmanuel has been blessed with an extensive library. Over the years, the library has aggressively expanded its holdings and now numbers more than 180,000 items and receives more than 7,800 periodicals regularly. The main collection contains the libraries of a number of retired or deceased scholars, including names like Walker, Nakarai, Dampier, Thurston, Van Buren, Thompson, Brown, and Taylor. The Buford Bryant New Testament Seminar Library contains more than 12,000 items that are primarily concerned with the New Testament and its background. The collection of the Helsebeck Archives of the Stone Campbell Movement has more than 10,000 volumes and was established as a research facility for the examination of the past and present aspects of the Stone Campbell tradition. In the initial years, Emanuel's program was located on the campus of Milligan College. Then in 1974, the seminary was blessed with its own campus in a single four-story building with 62,000 square feet of space for most of the activities of the seminary. The B.D. Phillips Memorial Building provided space for nine classrooms, the Mildred Welshamer Phillips Memorial Chapel, a large auditorium for banquets, office space for faculty and administrative work, lounge areas for faculty and students, and significant space for the library. For 35 years, Emmanuel had little community life, but in the year 2000, the first phase of the Emmanuel Village was dedicated. This phase consisted of 26 cottages to be used for housing students. It became more than buildings. Rather, it has become a community of support and encouragement for students who come from all over the world. Later phases of construction in the village provided 16 more cottages, the Delno Brown Walking Trail, the Algram Carriage House, the Dana Goan Prayer Garden, the Garden Chapel of the Risen Lord, the Cross of the Risen Lord, and the Thompson Community Center. The 19,000 square foot Thompson Community Center serves as a guest house with 12 lodging rooms, the Fife Fireside Room, the Ashworth Alumni Hall, the Pratt Conference Room, the Laporte Child Care Room, and three smaller seminar rooms. Emmanuel's campus now consists of 17 structures on 40 acres on a bluff overlooking the Milligan campus in beautiful East Tennessee. 50 years ago, Emmanuel had no alumni. Today, there are over 1,650 alumni serving as representatives of Christ in 35 nations around the world. Emmanuel is a national school with students coming from every part of the United States. But Emmanuel is also an international school with students from all over the world. Africa, Asia, South America, North America, Europe, and Australia. Students have come from almost every continent but the North and South Pole, with alumni serving on six continents. Initially, most of Emmanuel's students came from Bible colleges. In recent years, however, nearly 30% of the school's students come from state universities. They are, for the most part, products of effective campus ministries. A growing number of women and second-career students 
are studying at Emmanuel today. Emmanuel is a gift-driven school and has been blessed with strong support from churches and donors around the country. 30% of Emmanuel's gift income comes from the West, 30% from the South, and 30% from the North. The entire campus has been built from gifts. Over 140 endowed scholarships have been funded by generous donors. Donors have also funded four faculty chairs. In recent years, the seminary has been the beneficiary of significant estate gifts. Already in 2014, over half a million dollars has been received from estates. While the school has been blessed with amazing gifts from donors, financial and economic conditions have made it increasingly difficult to operate small seminaries like Emmanuel. Due to her small size, the seminary has been forced to rely heavily on debt to support the operations of the school. The national economy has made it even more difficult for Emmanuel in recent years. The school is focusing on serious spending reductions while increasing student enrollment. It is anticipated that full integration of Emmanuel into Milligan College will take place the summer of 2015. Emmanuel will retain its name and its mission. In view of the big picture, it is amazing that now after 50 years, Emmanuel has come to this point. Both Emmanuel and Milligan have always operated independently, but have a strong shared history. Emmanuel was founded in 1965 using shared space on the Milligan campus and under the leadership of Milligan's then president, Dr. Dean E. Walker. Both institutions are part of the Stone Campbell movement and have a similar mission of preparing men and women for vocational ministry and servant leadership. It was always Dr. Walker's vision that Emmanuel would be the graduate seminary of Milligan College. Now Emmanuel's program will be enhanced by having the strength of Milligan College behind it. This is truly Emmanuel. God is with us. <music>